Hello. Hello. Just check this recording it is. Hello. So, today is the longest day of the year. Uh, summer solstice. So solstice blessings to everybody. It's also, um, it's not totally unusual, but it's, it's fairly unusual. Um, not only is it the solstice, but we have a full moon. <clears throat> well, full moon in, in two days. But I did look last night, it looked virtually full. I've got a frog <coughs> in my throat. Rather than having a slurpee, I decided to drink a frog. Anyway, solstice blessings. I was really annoyed yesterday. Really angry, really upset. I don't normally get like that. Stonehenge. Those arseholes from Just Stop Oil decided to go and spray orange paint on Stonehenge. What the hell has Stonehenge got to do with... Oh, I don't know what that... Well, oil. What has it got to do with oil? The paint they used contains oil. The clothing they were wearing, the banners they hold, contains oil. Their shoes are made of oil. The cars they arrived in run on oil. I was so angry. Bastards. Anyway, that up there, I know most of you haven't seen, seen that for a while. That's called Mr. Solar Face. <laughs> and I am, today I am Bride the Buddha with the long beard. I think I've decided on uh, not trimming the beard for a little while. Um, I had it trimmed whenever, six months ago or whatever. And um, initially I liked it, but then I didn't like, after a while it started to grow and there's little, there's whispery bits that they cut and they shouldn't have. So uh, look at this little fella, look at this little boy. <laughs> so he very nearly didn't get out again today. Um, I forced myself out because it would be the second day. This tiredness, this potential ME is still going on. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, so yesterday I got up early expecting to go out, wanting to go out. And uh, hello, hello. <laughs> and um, I didn't and I went back to bed. I oh, was so bloody tired and I got up. Uh, a few hours later, what the hell is that? Oh, a scooter. Got up a few hours later and um, so tired again. And I hadn't even washed or anything, you know. And I thought, come on, get in the shower and get, and get going. And I never had the energy. And I sat there and sat there. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have to go back to bed. So I went back to bed and uh, never went out in the end, sadly. But anyway, we're here today. We've got, oh, we've got red hat on. It's, um, it's piping hot today for a change. It ain't gonna last, we know, but it's, uh, this is called summer. Look at you, look at you. You are clever. Yes, you are. You are the cleverest doggy in the world. Hello, my love. <laughs> Beautiful boy. Oh dear. So we got up today. Got up, I did go back to bed, and when I got out of bed, a little while ago, I said to Bodo, I'm just going to have a very quick shower, and then we go. And that's what we did. And uh, I'm desperate for a Slurpee, because I had my shower, and I thought, oh, I was in the shower, and I thought I should have had a Slurpee, then a shower, but I've already had a Slurpee earlier, in fact two. And um, I was extremely tired. Last night, this is quite dangerous, but anyway, um, I was getting ready for bed. I stood there, a bit bleary-eyed, taking me evening tablets. I took the third one and realised I'm taking the day tablets again. 
So that means that one of the tablets I take is bisoprolol, bisoprolol, and that's for my heart. So that slows the heart down and uh, works to help prevent palpitations. I thought, shit, I've already taken them in the morning because they're my morning tablets, but now I've took them at night as well. So what's going to happen? Well, either it's going to slow me out right the way down so that I pop off. <laughs> I went to bed thinking, well, I might pop off. Um, but I didn't pop off. I'm here. Here I am. Hello. <laughs> And I thought, ah, shit, that's what I thought. After thinking shit, I thought, do you know what? They must make these tablets with the view that we are stupid human people and we're going to make mistakes. <laughs> there he is. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we are going to make mistakes in life. Of course we are. Look at that little... He's 10, look at him. He runs around, he plays ball, he makes his own mind up what he does. He, oh, he does all sorts, really. He's 10. So I went to bed. And I didn't pop off. Hello! Hello, darling, look at you. And here we are this morning. So what I've decided to do is not take any meds whatsoever this morning, apart from my pain meds, because they're all right. I can take them every four hours. Uh, the pain meds I take really are for my ankles, uh, my knees, hips, and lower back. That seems to be most of the areas that have got osteoarthritis, although I think it's in the neck as well. Uh, but anyway, so you've got to take something to alleviate some of the gripes and worries and pains and concerns. Uh, and if you've never had osteoarthritis, then there's no point in telling me, oh, don't take meds, you know, take turmeric. You know, uh, put your pants on your head, stand on one leg, eat grass, rubber ball band's head. Say hello to a black and white boy. Hello, my love. Hello, hello, hello. He keeps coming back to see me. Make sure I'm all right. So, I've had no meds. and I'm going to have no meds until the evening. So I'm going to miss out totally on my meds. The only slight worry is the bisoprolol. That's the most important one. Um, which, as I say, it's, uh, it's my heart meds. So I'm going to give that a total, total miss until now, tomorrow morning. Um, but I'll, I'll be fine, you know. He's in the shade. Now he's sensible, little boy. I'm going to head for the shade. Oh, thank God we've got a bit of air around us. Oh. The longest day. I shan't see the longest day. If I'm knackered, I should be seeing the longest sleep I should be seeing my better tells ya <laughs> that's what I see pigeons up there probably fucking I expect they stopped when I said that probably embarrassed so what does the solstice and the full moon bring us well they bring us two lots of energy each one always brings us some form of energy. Uh, but when you couple that, you get double the amount of what they call nature energy. So energy from the land. So that should, in theory, it should come up to our being and uh, manipulate our essence, our true selves, and give us some energy, some power, some life force, it should. So let's hope that's going to work with me. So what's going on then, Bri? I'm talking about myself in the third person. <laughs> well, Bri went to get his blood, Bri did, and Bri, strange, isn't it, when people do that? Anyway, 
Um, so what's going on, Bray? I hear you asking. Well, I don't really know. Uh, I'll tell you what's going on. I'm waiting for a call from the doctor. You know I gave blood, didn't I? A week ago. Bird! Come on, love! Come on! Here! Come on! Up here! I can't get to the shade because there's a bloke with a couple of dogs. Come on, love! Good boy, thank you for coming back. Thank you for coming back. Um, so good bloods. Typical, they didn't come back and say what the... Look at that lovely green-yellow. That's stunning. Look at that. The more you look, the more you see. It's beautiful. I love it. So they didn't come up with the results. I knew they wouldn't. So it's up to me then to chase things up. So uh, I've got to have a scan in September and they want bloods prior to that. So I went on me, uh, me website, me doctor's website and I said I need to give I need to come to you for bloods and um, is it too early to book them for September I thought it would be and I said while I'm here what's going on for me blood tests could the doctor phone me again I've got to ask request that he does his job so the receptionist or whatever came back and said, uh, it's too early to book bloods, uh, contact us again mid-April, uh, mid-August. So I said, yeah, we'll do. Um, and she said, regarding the blood uh, results, I get this. They've come back showing abnormal. So the doctor needs to speak to you. So I read that line, because I'm a panicker, about 10 times, and it said, They've come back as abnormal. Abnormal. So the doctor needs, not wants, needs to talk to you. So it's all to upset you and worry you, I'm sure it is. But um, I decided I'm not worrying about it. It is what it is. I've had enough to worry about. And uh, abnormal can mean quite normal, really. It can mean, mean slightly alleviated things. Alleviated iron, you know, up on the iron. A little bit, um, your B12 is a little bit high. Your vitamin D is low. Abnormal can mean a lot of things, as well as all the bad things. So, uh, they can kiss my ass if they want me to worry, because I'm not. So I just replied back and I said, okay, thank you very much. Uh, I will book um, meds mid-August and await the call from the doctor whenever that may be, knowing that they never rush. And here we are, three, yeah, third day, three days later, not a word. And what I tend to do is give it a week, sometimes a fortnight, and then contact them again and just say, I'm waiting for a doctor to call me. This is ridiculous. And then they call that's how it works. Listen to me moaning. That's how things are. There's that beautiful... Oh, look at that beautiful boy. What's he doing up here? So, we're going to go under the shade. Just for a minute. So, prepare your eyes. We're going to go a bit dark. Here we go. Oh... Glorious. Lots of lovely bird song. Nature is amazing. 
and it gives us this shade on a piping hot day, which today is, it's warm for a change. Not really piping hot. If you watch this and you live in a different country, we're not piping hot, <laughs> not really. We are 21, possibly 22 degrees. Uh, so yeah, say 21 degrees, you can work that out in Fahrenheit, so. But for us, for England, for the UK, then that's quite warm. Um, however, it's not gonna last, whether, whether people have said it's only for a week. And uh, we've had a reasonable weekend, so um, I think it was wet Saturday and then re reasonable Sunday and Monday. Today is Thursday, obviously, Thursday the 20th, the longest day. Stop licking, man! Or um, the solstice. Call it what you will, or just call it Thursday if you're not into that. I won't mind. But it is glorious to have some nice weather, just for a change. We haven't had a summer at all. And here we are on the solstice. There's a lot of people up here. That's all right, I'm, uh, we're keeping away from them, which is lovely, doing our own thing. So I hope everybody's okay, and I hope perhaps you can feel some energy from the land during this time. We are of the land, and uh, we do become the land again, obviously when our time is over. And uh, some of our atoms and elements are from outer space. So we are spacemen, space women, space people. Of course we are. We're made from lots of different things. Lots of elements. Yeah, that's cool abode, isn't it, eh? Even I can feel it a little bit cooler. It proves that you're not a silly dog. And yeah, I know, I was just saying, proves you're not a silly dog because... You were in, oh, come here, that's it. You were in the um, sunshine, then you thought, sod this, I'm going into the shade. That's very wise. What is it, primordial or primeval or whatever? You know, a dog works on instinct far more than humans do. Um, although if we listen to ourselves, you know, we know what's best for us in the long run. You know, when we're thirsty, you know, our body knows, our brain knows if we're tired and if we're fed up and if this and if that, you know. And if we really listen, it's all good. So, as I say, perhaps we'll listen to what's going on. Think how you felt yesterday and then how you might feel tomorrow after being on the land in this fairly auspicious time of the solstice and the full moon. As I say, two forms of energy, two forms of nature energy it is, so who knows? Who knows, we might be doing far better tomorrow. I don't know. Okay, I'm uh, gonna end the video and carry on on our little bimble in a minute, but um, before I go, I've got a couple of pieces of art up. Um, as well, tonight, on the 20th, on the Thursday, at 7 p.m. Uh, it's taken a while for me to do some art. A year. And uh, I made a couple of little videos, one over on Ishi Art and one for this channel. And I've had some lovely, lovely feedback and comments and stuff like that. So I just wanted to say thank you. It's been a long time and uh, it needed to be a long time, perhaps, you know. I can only do my art when I feel I've got some energy. So when that will next be, who knows? <laughs> but I will try. But yeah, most importantly, thank you for your lovely, lovely comments. It's, um, it's never meant too much to me, really, whether anybody buys a piece of art 
or buys a book or um, really what they think of a piece of art or, or a book or a video I make or whatever. Nothing's very important in that respect. Um, I don't need to sell a book. I don't need to sell a piece of art. But what I do need, I suppose, is some form of feedback. And when somebody says, that's a lovely painting, Bry, that's wonderful. You know, the fact that they get what I... I want it. They get what I put into it. They get what the meaning, perhaps, or some of the meaning behind the painting is or was. And that means more to me than somebody saying, well, I'll buy it, you know. So as it is the solstice, it is the 20th. It's the longest day of the year, which means it's the lushest see the green the vibrancy everywhere so the world now will never be as it is so so powerful so strong so beautiful with all this lush green it, it's funny we're on the way out so these will start dropping soonish you know four weeks five weeks six weeks they'll start dropping and things change look at that boy again hello <laughs> so all in all we're doing okay I was on the phone to my glorious friend John last night for a couple of hours probably which is nice and uh, I said to him about these abnormal bloods and he, he said oh bloody hell and I said you know what John I can't be bothered and worry about it I said they can either cut it out stitch it up give me a tablet or fuck me off one or the other I'm not bothered anymore <laughs> he said well that's a good attitude and I said it's the only attitude really you know I've had cancer I never thought I was going to live thanks to the hospital um, cancer is so impacting on your life in many many ways and it still does it impacts on my life now I've got to have this scan if that's about cancer probably is I don't know but that's bloody awful to go through but I've got to do it I've got to have a load of blood tests it's, yeah, it goes on and goes on and goes on you know, and I've said before, they never leave you alone. Well, I'm glad they never leave you alone, really. But I also wish they would leave me alone. So it's so impactful. But prior to all of that, just to get in and have the operation, you'd never believe how many visits do you think that was to my doctors, to various specialists, to go and see the surgeon, to go and see consultants, two different ones, to... Um, have pre-meds to have uh, all sorts of horrible bloody things you drink stuff and and you empty your body we'll say um, injections tablets um, various meetings various things letters galore phone calls months and months and months of this shite you know and because of how I was then with my anxiety and my panic disorder, uh, I couldn't cope with any of it very well, if I'm honest. You know, I did cope and I had to, but I couldn't cope well. And that had a detrimental effect on my mental health. It really did. And then finally, you have the, the surgery. And yeah, I, I, I'm alive. That's wonderful. Of course it is. That's the result I, I needed and wanted, of course. But do you know what? It leaves you feeling differently. And again, I said this to John, I can't explain how. I don't feel that I'm the same person prior to having cancer. I really don't. And I cannot explain how. I just feel very, very different. And I've done some soul searching and asked myself questions. And I'm asking myself, am I, do I feel more vulnerable? Probably that's some of it. Uh, I do worry that cancer may come back. It's something, if you've never had cancer, then you wouldn't worry about it coming back because you've never had it. I've had it, so therefore, you know, it's a possibility it could come back. Let's hope not. I don't think I could cope a second round 
of all that. Where are you, bird? Bird! Oh, there you are, my friend. Hello! You can't find me. Hello, there I am. <laughs> Hello. Oh, bless him. It's because I dress and he, he couldn't see me like this, you know. I got glorious colour shoes on. Glorious colour trousers on. A glorious t-shirt. A white beard. And then the, uh, the double reds which is the nose and the at. <laughs> so anyway, so the outcome was, I said to John, abnormal, could mean lots of things. I can't be bloody bothered to worry about it. I've had enough to worry about. I've been through cancer. It can't get any worse than that. And it can't, you know. What's the worst than cancer? The worst than cancer is them to say, um, oh, there's nothing we can do for you. You're going to drop dead. That's the worst. Now, that's a little bit unlikely and in this case it's very unlikely because my doctor ain't bothered phoning me you would have thought or hoped that if I'm about to drop dead what a morbid bloody subject Bry sorry about that if I'm about to drop dead you would have thought the doctor would have phoned me and said ha ha or text me you're going to drop dead lol <laughs> We feel well, me and Bodhi feel well. And you know what? The feeling of being well is more important than the being well. It really is. Everything we are. Bird, come on, love, this way. Everything we are. Come on, love. Is everything that we think. And if we think that we're well, in other words, we feel, because feeling is a thought, we feel that we're well. That's important than the being well. The physical being well. You can be ill, but think, well, I'm not too bad. And actually your illness is far better that way. It's a far better way of managing and coping rather than to think the alternative. Uh, quick story on that, really. One of my dear old mum's friends years ago was diagnosed with breast cancer and she just made up her mind that she was going to die oh that's me done then and she took to her bed and um, she died six weeks later she never got out of bed and partly why she died was starvation she didn't eat she didn't drink so it is how you think about things really you know anyway I did say I was going to end this video I'm going to end it I'm going to go over the bridge and uh, either go right or left and uh, we'll see where we end up. Bode, where are you, my friend? You keep going. I'm going to go this way, Bode. Where are you? You're in there somewhere. Come on, that's not even a walkway. I know you're a dog. And uh, get myself home for a Slurpee. But I hope that the full moon, and I hope summer solstice and I hope just the energy of the land finds its way into you and brings about some peace some harmony some contentment within your soul some nice thoughts maybe and perhaps brings slightly better how for whatever you're wishing for whatever you're hoping for think positive because everything you think that's what you are what we think we become think positive think good thoughts can't do any harm can it really think good thoughts think positivity let go of negativity and if your bloods are abnormal welcome to the club <laughs> alright take it easy and uh, we'll be back another day alright be well ta-da